for this machine, naming some parts, we have the table, we have the fence, we have the rail arm where the saw pulls out, we have the crown guard, and we have the adjustable guard on the front. We also, on the fence, have a turnover stop. So this allows for repetitious cuts. So demonstrating putting this piece of pipe, when we first bring a board in for the timber store, we tend to cut off at least 40 or 50 millimetres off the end. You'll find that the timber merchant has a stamp, has the end painted, maybe staples, uh, fixed into the end, but also you get end shakes in the timber. So we tend to cut off that amount first. Remembering the setting of the guard, so the very first thing we do is the machine is isolated before we carry this out. We set up the adjustable guard on the front to close as practicable. So that's in relation to the regulations, the pure regulations 1998. We then mark out our components. So depending on what the length wants to be, we tend to add 20 millimeters on from our finished size to our finished length. We can then offer the timber up to the fence. We can pull the saw out and align the blade with the pencil line, making sure that we have the waist on the opposite side to the pencil line. This is a nominal cut, so it's a rough uh, cut. It can be within a couple of millimetres or so. We then can set the stop, the turnover stop, which allows us to, to repeat this operation if we have more than one component. Using the machine, we will turn the isolator on. We will wear our PPE, our personal protective equipment. We will pull the stop out, so you see yellow, and then press the green button to start. That's an interesting point there when I turn the machine off, you heard it go through a braking routine. It breaks within 10 seconds. Uh, again, related to pure regulations, health and safety, ensuring that the tooling stops within a regulated time, 10 seconds. Sometimes you uh, put a board and it's very bowed and twisted. And the question is how do we lie this or lay this onto the table? The answer is, if we place the bow up, like so, and we have the bow, if it's bowed along the length, against the fence. So the bow up allows us, when we cut the timber, that it drops to the side. And the bow against the fence, but up against the fence, so it's, it's holding the timber as we cut across. So always remember, bow up, bow to the fence. Obviously, ensure that you'd always set the guard as close as practicable.